live from Blenheim Palace. This is BBC News. UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer hosts nearly 50 European leaders promising a reset of relations in the birthplace of Winston Churchill. We will strengthen our existing relationships and we will build new ones. This includes resetting our relationship with the EU. Bravery made Churchill Churchill. Bravery won the greatest battle of his life. It was the battle for Britain and, of course, for all Europe. And I'm Kasia Madeira in London with our other main headlines. Joe Biden pauses his election campaign after catching COVID as more Democrats reportedly tell him to drop out. And Donald Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, vows to fight for forgotten Americans as he takes center stage at the Republican Party convention. I stand here humbled and I'm overwhelmed with gratitude to say I officially accept your nomination to be vice president of the United States of America. Hello, welcome to Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire in England. It's a day for sun cream and diplomacy. Uh, this is the location for a summit of nearly 50 European leaders. The name of this summit is the European Political Community, as it says on the big sign. It's a relatively new one, a couple of years old, birthed out of the aftermath of the war in Ukraine, a place for leaders outside the EU and inside the EU to come and talk about matters like security and, of course, Ukraine top of the agenda too. Won't be the only thing that the leaders will be talking about right now inside, things like illegal migration and cooperation more broadly too. But also, this is a chance for UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer to establish himself in the job as UK Prime Minister, just a couple of weeks old, of course, new Labour government taking over from the Conservative government here in the UK. And the word that he wants to use today is reset. He's describing his relationship, the UK's relationship with U the European Union plus European leaders as one that's in need of a reset. And this summit is a very public way to do just that. He opened the session um, just an hour or so ago. Let's take a listen. I'm not driven by ideology, but by what's best for my country. And so we will strengthen our...